Divine Truth Assistance Group. These group assistance sessions are about putting principles of divine truth into action. This discussion is part of the Texas USA 2013 series. The topic is Addictions and Supporting Beliefs, presented by Jesus on the 13th of November 2013 in Austin, Texas, USA. This is session 5, part 1. So I'll just write them up here because we're going to revisit them from God's perspective. I better write them right. Strength and perfection. Okay. What else comes to mind when it comes to God, to what you learned or believed as a child? You want to have a step? Jen? Yeah. Um, to add to perfection, a big one for me is um, don't make a mistake. So, so perfection is no mistakes, basically, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. So that can be added to the word perfection. No mistakes. This is why when I encourage you to experiment and make mistakes, you go, what? It's a crazy idea. What you want me to do instead is to tell you what to do. Right? And what that, what that does, in fact, is it creates a cult. A cult usually is led by a person who's totally willing to tell you what to do. Right? And, and this all comes from this thing that you don't want to make mistakes. You don't want to feel that you have to go through your own processes of correction. What you want to do instead is to have somebody to tell you what is right and you just do it. And you don't want to even have to discover what is right for yourself. You just want someone to tell you what is right and then you do, just do it. If you, if you think it's right, of course you do it. Right? And a lot of times we automatically assume it's right because somebody who says they're in a better condition than us and says they're more connected to God and, and they look like they are, they might be just talking to spirits or whatever, but they look like they are, we go, oh, well, they must be, so I'm going to do what they say. And if they say, go and have sex with 20 guys to work through a sexual issue, you go and have sex with 20 guys to work through the sexual issue. Right? And there are a lot of cults on earth that actually encourage you to go and have sex with 20 guys or girls to work through an issue. Right? It's not the best way to work through your sexual issues. In fact, it's one of the worst ways, in my opinion, to work through your sexual issues. But they'll encourage you to do it. And you do it because you're so afraid that your own opinion is a mistake before you begin. And so you start assuming that whatever is told to you is, is, is not a mistake. So that's all part of perfection. 